in this problem, we have a rational inequality. In other words, there's an inequality symbol right there, not an equal sign, and there's a rational function, in other words, a fraction. And we need to be careful how we handle this because I'll bet everyone's first instinct when they see this is to say, oh, well, I'll just multiply this by omega plus eight on each side, right? Omega plus eight over here, omega plus eight over there. And the left side is gonna be zero because anything times zero is zero. And the right side cancels out those things and it makes it simpler, right? That makes sense, except for one thing, you can't do that with inequalities. That whole multiply each side by something, it's risky business when you have inequalities. It works when you're multiplying both sides by something like five or two. But as soon as you start multiplying both sides by a variable, you're in dangerous territory and here's why. What if that variable right there is a negative number, right? Let's say, uh, omega plus eight is negative, I don't know, negative three. If you multiply both sides by a negative number, you have to switch that inequality around. Remember when you multiply or divide by negatives, inequalities flip over. So we don't know whether omega plus eight is positive or negative. If it's positive, the inequality stays like it is. If it's negative, the inequality flips, which means if I just go ahead and multiply, I don't know which way the inequality is going to be facing. So we're stuck unless we use a sine array or graph it. You could always graph these things and solve them that way, but I'm gonna use a sine array and do this algebraically. On my sine array, I want a couple things. I want x-intercepts and I want vertical asymptotes, okay? So let's write those down. X-intercepts, what are my x-intercepts? Well, um, there's an x-intercept at one comma zero, right? And there's also an x-intercept at negative four comma zero. I'm getting those from factors on the top. And there are vertical asymptotes. We've learned about those in graphing rationals. My vertical asymptotes are really just x equals negative eight. Uh, or if you, know, if you want, you could say omega, but it's really the same thing. Omega equals negative eight is my vertical asymptote. Uh, that's coming from this factor down here. And I'm going to put all those features on this line graph. So here's negative eight, my vertical asymptote. And here's my x-intercepts, negative four and positive one. And now what we do is we put all those factors on here, x minus one, x plus four. And just so we can keep this straight, I'm gonna use a different color here. We're gonna have x uh, plus eight. Okay, I think I did all that right. Okay, great. Now x plus eight is positive almost everywhere except values less than eight. Whereas these other guys, x plus four, for example, is only positive above negative four, and x minus one is only positive above one. Okay. Now we multiply down and we get our answer. So we've got a negative sign right here. Two negatives times a positive makes a positive. One negative makes a negative, and all positives make a positive. So there's my sign array. And because this function right here is greater than zero, I'm looking at this and this. Here's my solution. It's going to be negative eight to negative four. And don't, don't go ahead and write this down yet because we got to talk about one more thing. One to infinity, okay? So you might be thinking, great, I'm done. Here's what's still wrong with this. I saw that, neg that greater than or equal to and I put square brackets instead of curvy brackets because I'm thinking, okay, I'm, I'm allowing zero values. But where are those zero values actually happening? It's only at the x-intercepts. If you're actually at the value negative eight, look what happens if you plug negative eight into this. If you plug negative eight in here, you get some number on the top, okay? I don't know what that is. But on the bottom, you would get zero. Negative eight plus eight equals zero. And something divided by zero is not going to give you zero. It's gonna give you infinity. So we cannot have negative eight in our solution set. It's gonna be a parentheses. Okay, so this is the actual answer. We need to pay attention to whether these factors are coming from uh, vertical asymptotes or whether they're coming from x-intercepts. That determines the nature of the bracket or parentheses.